The National Party has spent four days promising it won't touch New Zealand's abortion laws if elected. But abortion campaigners are still worried. The MP who sparked that concern has apologised to his caucus, but is still celebrating America removing the constitutional right to abortion. Here's our political reporter, Amelia Waite. Nationals caucus rolling up to work, rolling down their windows. I feel uh, very strongly uh, in my pro-choice views. Swearing they wouldn't roll back abortion laws. Will not be touched and I think that's a really good thing. I don't think uh, that this is an issue that needs to be addressed. Including Tamaki MP Simon O'Connor. I'm sorry, excuse me for a second, I've been struggling with my voice all week. <coughs> It's just possibly a blessing to many. He caused a four-day migraine for his party with this Facebook post celebrating the dismantling of Roe v Wade. My Facebook notifications are just going absolutely nuts. Even a sample, I could see this was out of control. I regret liking that post. Um, you know, I think it was unfortunate. For me, uh, it was pretty clear the post was going to come down one way or another. Despite being told by his leader, O'Connor says it was his choice. There's no gag on national MPs putting in members' bills. His colleagues doubling down, no gag order here. We haven't been whipped. Louise and I are here speaking to you of our own free will. We're not being told what to say. For the record, though, O'Connor is still happy about the end of America's constitutional right to abortion. Do you maintain that Saturday was a good day? I'm a pro-lifer, so yes. And that's got abortion campaigners here worried. Members of the Supreme Court also said that they wouldn't touch the settled law, and they did. As protests rage on in the US, there are calls there for the Supreme Court judges who tore down Roe v Wade to be impeached. Here, politicians of all stripes are promising the same won't happen here. From Labour MPs who voted against decriminalising abortion. But for me, that's part of New Zealand's fabric now, women's choice to, for uh, abortion. I don't think there's any appetite at all um, for, for revisiting the issue. And once again, national. We're not revisiting or relitigating abortion law in New Zealand. Simon O'Connor's apologised, not to the public, but to his caucus for the four-day distraction that he's caused. And it's perhaps a lesson to the national leader to get in first and respond to news of global significance before one of his backbenchers. Amelia Wade, News Hub.